Roy Moore down in Alabama has said that he believes homosexuality should be illegal and that Muslims should be barred from serving in the U.S. Congress. What makes you comfortable with someone with those beliefs serving in the U.S. Senate? And the same question to you, Mr. Leader. Well, I'm going to be meeting with Roy uh, sometime next week. Uh, and uh, we're going to talk to him about a lot of different things, but I'll be meeting with him. He ran a very uh, strong race. The people of Alabama, who I like very much, and they like me very much, uh, but they like Roy, and we'll be talking to him, and I can report to you then, okay? Mr. President, sir, Mr. President, Mr. President, sir. Go ahead. I can give you my position. The, the, the blue slip, for those of you who are not familiar with it, is a, is a custom determined by the chairman of the Judiciary Committee. And Senator Grassley can give you his view of how he views this. I'll give you my view. My, my view is that a blue slip on a circuit judge is simply a notification of how you're going to vote. Um, to conclude otherwise would have left us in the following position at the beginning of this Senate. 48 Democratic senators would have been able to blackball 62 percent of the circuit judge nominees. That's simply not a tenable uh, place to land in a Senate that now deals with judges on the, with a simple majority. So my own personal view is that a blue slip on a circuit judge should simply be a notification of how you intend to vote. I mean, we can we can talk blue slips, but my attitude is I just want really capable people going to the courts. Peter. Mr. President, in 2012, you tweeted that Obama's complaints about Republicans stopping his agenda are BS, in your words, since he had full control for two years. You wrote, he can never take responsibility. But today, you said about some of the challenges right now in Congress and in Washington, I'm not going to blame myself, I'll be honest, they're not getting the job done. So what's different then than now? Well, let me just explain what's different. Uh, we have nominations pending right now, and we have 182 if you look at this, the number that he had approved was 65 percent and 70 percent, and we have 39 percent. They're holding up every single nomination. Schumer and the group are holding up every single nomination. They are obstructing. They're doing it's really what I'm telling you. They're not good politicians, but they're very good at obstruction. Uh, they are holding up every single nomination. And I will tell you, Peter, it's not right. It's really not right. They'll bring them right out to the end, that last minute. What they're doing is unfair. So you look at even Bush, you look at Obama, you look at Clinton, and you look at Bush original. You have uh, 389 versus 182. These are approvals. Uh, you look at Clinton, 357 versus 182. Uh, you look at President Obama, 364 versus 182. These are nominations approved. And what they're doing to us, we have unbelievable people in their waiting to be approved. They've been waiting for a long period of time. Now, I do believe that Mitch is going to start pushing them very hard, and he can do that, and he wants to do that. He also wants to get the judicial nominations through, and he wants to get them through fast, too. Go ahead, John. Okay. Go ahead, John. Could I, could I just follow on that, if I could? Yes. You, you seem to have a, a budding spirit of cooperation with the Senate Minority Leader and the House Minority Leader uh, when it came to the budget, when it came to this idea of finding a fix for DACA. But every proposal that you have floated since then, they have very critically rejected. It's true. So where is this relationship? Well, I hope to have a relationship. If we don't, we don't. I mean, we have uh, uh, races coming up, in, as you know, in a year from now. I think we're going to probably do very well. I can say this, if we get taxes approved, we're going to do unbelievably well. Uh, many of the senators are running in states that I won by massive amounts, 20, over 20 percent, sometimes 30 percent, I guess in one or two cases, by over 40 percent over the Democrat. Uh, well, we're going to let you know that at, 
I would like to give you that answer in about seven years from now. Is that okay? Mr. Mr. President, Mr. President, sir. Meaning one plus seven. I hope to be, John, I hope to be able to, because I like the concept of bipartisan. But right now, they are doing nothing but obstructing. And really, you know, if you think about it, they're against major tax cuts that's going to make our country stronger and more competitive. That's a hard thing to win an election on. And I believe that some Democrats will be voting for us when it comes to the tax cuts. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.